else went first, I'll buck the trend and go first as well. OK. Um, you're kicking off then. Philip, here's your first question. Which position is most associated with the footballer? John Terry. Goalkeeper, defender or striker? Um, I could make some comments, but obviously he is a defender. OK, defender, yes, John Terry. Well done. <laughs> Fell very nicely. And, uh, Barry, first question. What name is given to a tackle in rugby union designed to make the opposing player's legs collide with each other? Flick tackle, tap tackle or slap tackle? I think that's a tap tackle. Tap tackle is correct, yes. OK, back to you, Philip. Who became only the second female to train a grand national winner when her horse, Mon Mome, won in 2009? Amanda Perrett, Venetia Williams or Henrietta Knight? Um, horse racing is definitely not a strong point. I mean, I've, I've, I've been to horse racing twice and didn't actually see a horse either time. So... <laughs> well, it was too crowded or you were in the bar? I was in the bar. <laughs> um, a wild guess, uh, Amanda Perrett. Amanda Perrett for uh, Grand National winner 2009. Barry? Venetia Williams. Venetia Williams. Venetia Williams. And uh, just remind us who the first was? Uh, Jenny Pittman with Corbia. Yeah. OK, well, Venetia Williams, Barry identified it, but um, doesn't get him a point. Needs to get this. In March 2010, who was named Laureus World Sportsman of the Year for the second year running? Usain Bolt, Tiger Woods or Roger Federer? Uh, it's unlikely to be Tiger Woods, but that's interesting between Federer and Usain Bolt. I think I've got to go for Usain Bolt. OK, Usain Bolt, yes, is the right answer. So you have the lead, and uh, Philip needs to get this then. Philip, in which event did the American athlete Mike Conley win a gold medal at both the 1992 Olympic Games and the 1993 World Championships? Triple jump, hammer or pole vault? Uh, another one I don't know the answer to, not heard the name before. Um, don't think the Americans are probably that good at the hammer. So I'd, I'd plump between the triple jump and the pole vault. Uh, I'll go pole vault. OK, pole vault for Mike Connolly. Um, two gold medals, one in the Olympics, one in the World Championships in consecutive years. What do you think, Barry? I think, it, I think it's a triple jump. It is the triple jump. Sorry, Philip. Triple jump uh, for Mike Conley. Not the pole vault, which means Barry hop, skipped and jumped into the final round. Uh, no place for you, Philip. I'm sorry. Would you both please come back and join your teams? So this is what we've been playing towards. It's time for the final round, which, as always, is general knowledge. But I'm afraid those of you who lost your head-to-heads won't be allowed to take part in this round. So Philip, Kevin and Ian from the Blue Tips and Judith from the Eggheads, would you leave the studio, please? So the two Pauls you're playing to win the Blue Tips, £8,000. Chris, Barry, Pat and Kevin, you're playing for something which money can't buy. The Eggheads' reputation. As usual, I'll ask each team three questions in turn. This time, the questions are all general knowledge. You are allowed to confer. So, to Pauls, the question is, are your two brains better than the Eggheads four? And Blue Tips, would you like to go first or second? Well, we've uh, gone first. Go well, no first, can you? Yeah. yeah. We'll go first, please. Stay first. OK, first question. It's general knowledge. Anything can come up. Which figure in the music world married the model Yasmin Parvana in 1985? Simon Le Bon, Nick Hayward or Martin Kemp? Well, Simon, Simon Le Bon. Simon yeah. Le Bon is yeah. Yeah. called Yasmin. Yeah. Martin Kemp is married to Shirley, a Pepsi and Shirley. Yeah. Not sure about Nick Hayward, but yeah. Simon yeah. Le Bon. Yeah. Simon, yeah. Simon Le Bon. Simon Le Bon and uh, Yasmin Parvana became Yasmin Le Bon. It's the right answer, yes. So, good start there for the blue tips. Eggheads. Stonehenge is an example of what type of construction? Mott and Bailey, wattle and daub, or post and lintel? That's post and lintel, Yeah. Post and lintel is correct, Eggheads. Yes, Stonehenge. OK. And our second question for the blue tips. In the card game, Texas Hold'em Poker, what name is given to the fifth card? that's dealt to complete the community cards that all players can use along with the two cards they hold in their hand. Is it the fielding, the river or the gully? Fielding. Yeah, definitely, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, as we played it as well a couple yeah. of times. But, uh, We're pretty well, confident yeah. that, that fielding and gully are not cards used in poker. We're pretty certain it's the river. 
The river for the fifth card. Yeah, it's the right, right answer. What's the ones before that called? Before you get the river, you get the... the turn? Nope. Flop, flop. The flop. So, hey, kids, here's your question. The actress Janet Webb became famous for her regular appearances at the end of the TV show of which comedians, Little and Large, The Goodies or Morecambe and Wise? Yeah, she, was, she, she was the fat lady who came on to sing, wasn't she? <laughs> Basically. Yes. Yeah. She was indeed. That's Morecambe and Wise, Janet. Morecambe and Wise, Janet Webb, Kevin's saying there, she came on to sing. What did she sing? She never got much chance, I don't think. It was just, she would just about throw her arms out and the, the mouth would come open and... That was your yeah. uh, Morecambe and Wise is correct to all. Well, blue tips. Getting closer. Third question. Lester Pearson, who received the Nobel Peace Prize in 1957 for acting as a mediator in the resolution of the Suez Crisis, became Prime Minister of which country in 1963? Canada, New Zealand or Australia? I'm not totally sure, but I might, I might go, I would go for Canada. But, yeah, um, I, don't think, I don't think it was New Zealand. I'm, and I'm not sure that I've ever read him as Australia. So no, if no. Be my choice. I'd say not 100% sure, but um, no. I, I think I'll ask yeah. for, I both agree, Canada. That's good. We're, yeah. we're not totally sure, to be honest with you, Dermot, um, but we've both sort of decided we're going to go for Canada. OK, and Lester Pearson became Prime Minister of Canada in 1963. Three out of three, so the eggheads must get this to keep their run going. Eggheads, in which year was the 14th Dalai Lama enthroned? 1930, 1940, or 1950? Well, it certainly wasn't 1930. No. Do we know who the 14th was? Yes, it's the current one. It's the current one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think 19, well, 1950 is too late. It was 19, yeah. 1950. He was, he was, already he was there. enthroned as a Dalai Lama before the Chinese moved into Tibet. Yeah. And the Chinese, yeah. I think, moved into Tibet in about 48, didn't they? Well, it was, it was 1950. Yeah, 1950. Yeah. So I think it must be 1940. Oh, that was my, no, that was my immediate thought, because he was... Mm. I mean, he was enthroned as a, as a boy. Yes, obviously. that's right. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we're not entirely certain. We think it should be 1940. 1940 for the 14th Dalai Lama. It's the correct answer, eggheads. The Brains Trust got it between the four of them. And uh, let's uh, make it more difficult for you, take you to sudden death, as you know, after three questions, all square. So here you go. In an act of parliament given royal assent in January 2007, a new bank holiday was created for Scotland only to be held on which day of the year? A new bank holiday was created for Scotland only to be held on which day of the year? Robbie Burns, 25th of January. Uh, yeah. 25th of January, is it? But didn't they have that anyway? I'm not sure if it was ever a bank holiday. It's just to yeah, celebrate the I think I'm pretty sure bank it, holiday. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure it was Robbie Burns as well. I, think I, I wouldn't know the rush it. Yeah, it's generally. Would, yeah, if you know it's the date, that's what I would go for. Would you go for that? And we, have you got any other idea? No, 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 no can't be nothing else. No. You know, Scotch day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, the only one we can come up with really damn it, we're thinking of would be Burns Night, which we're gonna go for January the twenty fifth. Okay, Burns Night, uh, it's incorrect. It's not Burns Night, but I mean it's very close. Do you know Eggheads? Is, is it January the second? Yeah, I think Hogmanay type it is. I would have gone for No, that. it's uh, not. Which is interesting. No, no, guessing away there. It's St. Yeah. Andrew's Day. Oh, it's St. Oh. Andrew's Day. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, 30th of November. Or if that's uh, if that's on the weekend, then it's on the Monday. St. Andrew's Day, not uh, not Burns Night, or indeed on uh, any of the other suggestions put forward by the Eggheads. Well, um, both teams not getting that, but it was the blue tips question, so the Eggheads have the first chance of this round. Eggheads, the surname of the singer Julio Iglesias is the plural of the Spanish word for what? Church. English? This is I G L E S I S, yeah. Iglesias, it's church. church. Okay, we'll go yeah, church. church. We think that's church, Dermot. Julio Iglesias, Joe Church. It's the right answer, Eggheads. You've won. <laughs> Bet you knew that, did you? No, Leo Iglesias? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course you did. <laughs> you would have worked yeah, it out. Bad luck, guys. Uh, really good quizzing there in that final round, going really, really well there. And do you know what? It could have been